Ed, uh, you mentioned the other day in a piece you wrote, uh, of course, that Benning was in North Dakota watching the World mm -hmm. uh, Under-18 Championship. And you had said to me, you know, this is one of these things that you really actually admire about Benning, a guy who gets out of the office and goes to far-flung places uh, to watch young guys play hockey and, 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 and see what could work for the Canucks in the future. Does that make him a good GM, or does that make him a good scout, or both? No, fa fair question, and that's really, the, I think that's the debate about Jim, and, and if you look at the Canucks model where Trevor Linden is in the more traditional role of the general manager, and Jim is kind of the chief scout, director of player personnel guy, I think it makes a little more sense. Having said all that, the single most important platform in any, fran in any NHL franchise is drafting, which helps explain why the Canucks have been so terrible for its 46 years existence. That's why I'm a little excited about this guy because he's put together two pretty solid drafts and there's more coming this year. Right. So this could be, I, I, I just think I, I, I think for those reasons alone I'm willing to give him the benefit to, of the doubt. On Jonathan's point though, Ed, this is something that we see in NHL all the time. I know they love the press box shot of Brian Burke with his yeah, tie, right. <laughs> you know, not done up and his yeah. Porcupine hair grease back, but really, once the trade deadline's over, what the hell does a GM do? I mean, I know there'll be some day to day yeah. management, some consultancy with a coach, but really, once the trade deadline hits, they should be all in on the draft anyway. That's their primary well, function. No, no, they, they, they should, but it depends on who the guy is. And if they come from a scouting background, and that would be Benning, I think I think Ken Holland is still very much that way. I don't know how active he is in the field, but that's the background. He's from Jim Neal in Dallas. They get out in the field, they analyze. I think they trust their own eyes as much or more than their scouts. And I think, you know, Benning is really proactive in this. Now, that that's not, it has, as you said, there's kind of like two types of GM. There's sort of the, the you know, the office mouse, and then there's the in the field, the, there's the field mouse, and Benning is very much the latter. Uh, or you could be like the Toronto Maple Leafs and have an individual assistant GM for every <laughs> single one of the top 100 <laughs> prospects out there. All right, Paul, last question uh, for you. We did an end of season poll, you'll recall. We asked uh, yeah. our readers how they felt uh, Willie Desjardins, Trevor Linden, and Jim Benning had all done. Uh, the Benning response was interesting, and we had hundreds of responses, and it was pretty much 50 50 on Jim Benning. Why is that? Well, again, I go back to the contracts. People look at Lucas Spiza and they say you overpaid for him. They look at Ryan Miller and say, why are you paying you know, an old goalie that much money? Uh, people will certainly Dorset as you brought up, but also the handling of things like Frankie Corrado. Now, Corrado hasn't set the world on fire with the Leafs, but we know how bad the Canucks blue line is, and I just think they're lightning rods. As I said earlier though, Jonathan, I think you need, you need more time to evaluate what he's done. It is really easy to pick at certain players, but we know really that it takes five to six years to really judge how a player is going to be and even five to six years into their careers look what people were saying about the city and so i think sometimes we need to show a little more restraint a little more patience but it's not just us right media now with with twitter uh facebook you're seeing much more debate go on amongst the fans and it's really easy to see people separating the camps and a lot of incendiary stuff being said but in fairness you can't judge a gm on two years work all right perfect paul ed thanks